I am Petty Officer Alexander Diaz. I am here to tell you that suicide attempts in the Coast Guard are a reality. Less than three years ago, I attempted to take my own life because I thought I had no one I could go to with my depression and my troubles. Well, I survived. I'm still here and I still serve. Trust me when I tell you there are resources out there. Watch your colleagues for warning signs, intervene, and contact the experts if you need their assistance. Suicide is a reality, and suicide prevention is more than just mandated training. I'm Master Chief Petty Officer of the Coast Guard, Steve Cantrell. Every year, we lose valuable members of our Coast Guard family to suicide. Preventing these tragedies from occurring is no easy task, but it's important that we continue to examine the culture of our service and the climate of our workplaces and our lives for clues on how to decrease occurrences of suicide. We will never know how one kind word or one simple act of compassion can make a huge difference when someone feels he or she has reached a breaking point. So I'm asking each of you to be engaged and look for those signs in those that you work and those that you live with. Asking for help is a sign of strength and asking for and seeking that help should never be confused with career implications. We are fortunate to have numerous support services for our Coast Guard family. So I implore each of you to use this time as we enter National Suicide Prevention Month to familiarize yourself with these services and re-energize your efforts to show compassion when you notice someone struggling with the stressors of life and direct them to the appropriate services. We are a humanitarian service and each of us and our families are valuable. One life lost to suicide is too many. Thank you for yours and your family's service to our country and continue to look after one another.